A Mach Zinder interferometer splits a beam of light into two beams, directs the beams along separate paths, and then recombines the beams. A Mach Zinder interferometer can be implemented as a photonic integrated circuit with optical waveguides providing the beam paths, as pictured in the upper drawing. A simple optical splitter and combiner can be created with what are called Y junctions, as shown in the lower drawing. At this point, one might ask, since light just goes in and then comes back out, what good is this device? An answer to the question of utility is that with a slight variation, we can make an optical filter. Consider the unbalanced Mach Zinder with intermediate arms of different path lengths as shown in the upper drawing. If the optical path lengths differ by an integer number of optical wavelengths, the light beams interfere constructively and the light leaves the device in the output waveguide. On the other hand, if the light beams are out of phase at the output, light radiates away from the device and there is no light in the output waveguide. When we observe the transmission of an unbalanced Mach Zinder interferometer, we observe that it transmits light at some wavelengths and not others, as shown in the chart. The device is an optical filter. With the interactive chart that follows this video, you will explore how changing the arm lengths affects the separation of the transmission peaks, called the free spectral range, as well as the width of the peaks.